What's up guys, today we are doing a video on how to like go to different worlds during a server or stuff like that. How to have a whole bunch of different worlds on your server. Technically I'm just showing you around your server and stuff you can do. So first thing you need to do is go like your Pokemon thing and these are all the worlds I have on my server. And yeah that's and they like load up a new world. Go to um, server properties and you go in there and you just make some new name. Whatever you could possibly make it. Um, I'm just gonna make a new world code. So to do, you click on that little eye right there and you open it with. Doing too much. Open with text viewer and then edit. Then you just click basically change whatever you want. But some stuff you don't really need to change and stuff that you like get rid of might mess up your server. So your server level name. Um just gonna make this quick jump. I'm gonna make a quick jump. And now you just gotta start up your server. And let's just start this up. Okay guys, sorry about that. It sorta of wasn't working for a couple seconds. Something weird happened, but once you do it, it'll say it's no level level name this whatever. And then it starts generating a new one. And once you do that, you just go out of that and you hop right onto Minecraft Pocket Edition, which we're about to do, so we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're on Minecraft Pocket Edition, and you click on this blue thing if you have it like port forward or do your thing, but I don't think you guys know how to port forward. And if you do, you probably didn't do it yet if you just made your server, so you should be able to join it locally. And once you join, you're right here ready to go and then go in a different world I believe you need simple worlds and I'm gonna try that just gotta put up all my settings and let's try this this is where you'll type in simple worlds it says I don't have permission and I don't have it and what you would do is it's like TP2 world And I think I have a world named Tess. Yeah, it's still not version. So guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna install the Simple Worlds plugin, and I'll soon show you how to install plugins. And I just want to say when I said soon, I meant in a different video. And we're here, and I got Simple Worlds. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh yeah, I'm on. The, I'm still on this Armor Pro name. So I'm just gonna type gaming pro pig. Then let's just get back on this server. And we gotta wait for it to load. And once it loaded, dang it, I don't wanna be a creative. Oh well. It's not that hard. So once you do it, you just you have to load a different world separately like you loaded that first one. And just like load the one test it'll automatically load it and that was pretty quick and then the TP like that's how you type it then you type your world right there space world SW load and then load wherever your world you want but the TP to that world you do slash TP world W then call sign I don't know what that's called I just said call sign test and as you can see this is my test world and I built on a little bit and yeah so I got this little parkour area right here I didn't really work on this I worked on my other server that's down right now I don't know what's going on it would probably be easier if I just bought it but it's still a little bit more fun learning new things trying to make your own server it's not like a whole bunch of fun but it's still entertaining and you learn something new I learned how to port four and try to make my own server. That way I can use that in the future if I ever need to. So see you guys, keep watching my videos and
hope you subscribe, rate, and comment.